Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update here. This is what's currently going on in the tropics right now. We got three things to talk about. We got Invest 93S and 92S respectively, which both have a medium chance of development, which according to the data we see means tropical cyclone development likely, but expected to occur beyond 24 hours. So there's something to watch here, especially 92S could pose a threat to Australia here later on down the line. And uh, I'll talk about that whenever that ends up, if it does end up developing. But the main thing to talk about, of course, is Tropical Cyclone 12S, also known as Eloise, which is um, expected to come off the coast of, not off not of the coast, but off, off uh, Madagascar here within the next few hours. And they're uh, starting to re-intensify over the Mozambique Channel um, due to it really having uh, optimal conditions to do so. Um, and here's a look at the latest forecast coming from the Dry Typhoon Warning Center. As of this latest forecast cone for Eloise, they have it as a 45 knot tropical storm, which is about 50 miles per hour. And they forecast the weekend, of course, inland um, and weakened down to a 30 knot or about 35 mile per hour tropical depression. However, once it gets back over water, over the Mozambique Channel, they forecast it, forecast it to pretty much blow up in intensity here and have it make landfall um, or near landfall here as an 80 knot um, category one equivalent tropical cyclone, which is about 85, 90 miles per hour. So um, definitely a, a cyclone to take seriously here by that point. Um, so uh, please, for those of you guys in Mozambique, if you, know, if you know anybody in Mozambique or if you're in Mozambique right now and you're in the path of this tropical cyclone, please uh, keep really close eye on it here over the next few uh, hours and day or two as this gets closer and closer uh, to you guys here. Um, most models, unfortunately, at this point in time, are really uh, kind of sort of a nightmare scenario in terms of a uh, strengthening cyclone, pretty much at landfall um, over over Mozambique here. Um, so please, again, take this uh, tropical cyclone seriously. Hopefully, that doesn't come to that point where we have a disastrous cyclone unfolding. But um, if models are to be believed again, um, we could be looking at that such case potentially happening here um, with this storm. So again, those of you guys in Mozambique. Um, you have a few days ahead of, it, ahead of, you, ahead of you to prepare and uh, be aware of this tropical cyclone. Um, and uh, it's going to be knocking on your door soon for those of you guys, especially in the forecast cone here. Here's what the latest satellite for the storm looks like right now. Of course, obviously not an impressive system whatsoever, really, um, due to, of course, being over land right now over Madagascar. So it's not going to really look the best here. Um, however, that is forecast of change here within the next 24 to 36 hours here once it gets back over water, over the Mozambique Channel, where season risk temperatures are more than optimal uh, for a storm to, to intensify and perhaps even maybe rapidly intensify here, um, like the J2WC are kind of predicting here. Um, as it re-enters the, the water. Um, so again, uh, please, uh, if you're in the path of this, or if you know anybody in the path of this, please let them know and please them make them aware of this and uh, tell them to take the necessary uh, precautions ahead of this and listen to their local officials um, for less information um, on this tropical cyclone. So this is water vapor imagery here, and here is regular infrared imagery of the storm here over the past uh, 12 hours. And uh, again, it doesn't really look too impressive at this point in time due to it, of course, being right over land. Um, but again, um, once it gets back over open waters, it is forecast to start to re-intensify again. And um, that'll probably happen within the next 24, 36 hours or so um, when it'll start to start start to re-intensify once it gets back over open waters. This is infrared. And then here's visible satellite imagery here. And you can especially see the storm really uh, close to going back over open water. So I believe like the center of circulation is right about there, if I'm not mistaken, in the last two frames there. So it's really close uh, to re-entering uh, the water here, the coastline here um, of the Mozambique Channel. This would be here. So um, again, please, um, I can't stress this enough, please take this uh, tropical cyclone seriously. Um, if, again, if the models are to be believed, and if this does, uh, the models do come true here, um, what the models say do, do come true, um, again, we could be looking at a nightmare uh, tropical cyclone here for those of you guys in Mozambique. So again, please, please, I can't uh, urge you enough to play, take this uh, tropical cyclone seriously here. And again, hopefully that does not happen. Hopefully, um, you know, it doesn't become as strong as forecast, but uh, I mean, I don't really see any model that doesn't have this free to at least a uh, category one equivalent uh, tropical cyclone at or near landfall over Mozambique. Um, so um, again, just please, uh, Watch the system carefully, and um, I can't really stress it enough here. Um, so with that, that's pretty much going to be about it for this tropical update here. If you have any questions or comments, then let them in the comments section below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. 
Um, if you want to know website, if you want to know what websites and sites sites that I use for this topic, go update it down in the description below. Go ahead and click on some of the links down there, and I'll take you to uh, some of the websites that I used uh, for this topic. Go update if you're curious on uh, you know uh, seeing the topics for yourself here and uh, seeing what's currently going on worldwide right now um, in the topics. So with that, that's pretty much gonna be about it for this topic. We'll update here again, potentially dangerous and. Uh, life-threatening situation that may be unfolding here with Tropical Cyclone Eloise here. So please, again, take this Tropical Cyclone seriously. I cannot stress it enough. And um, with that, hope everybody has a great day and a great day. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys in the next video. Peace.